The Belgian Grand Prix is one of the oldest and most revered races on the Formula 1 calendar, dating back to the inaugural season in 1950. Spa-Francorchamps, nestled in the picturesque Ardennes forest, has witnessed countless epic battles and unforgettable moments that have etched their place in F1 history. This legendary circuit is known for its fast and undulating layout, featuring iconic corners like Eau Rouge and Radion, which test the skills and bravery of the world's best drivers. The unpredictable weather at Spa often adds a thrilling dimension to the race, making it a favorite among fans and drivers alike. With the Belgian Grand Prix just around the corner, there are six things you need to look out for this weekend. The Belgian Grand Prix at Spa-Francorchamps, known for its unpredictable weather, is once again gearing up to be a rain-soaked spectacle. With the F1 teams and fans bracing for the challenging conditions, the weather forecast has raised safety concerns at this historic circuit. Rain has been a recurring theme in recent Grand Prix, influencing critical moments in Montreal, Spielberg, Silverstone, Monaco and Barcelona. Even during the Hungarian Grand Prix, the weather made its presence felt, adding to the intense competition on the track. According to weather.com, the outlook for this weekend doesn't bode well. Rain is predicted every day leading up to Sunday night when F1 departs. Friday's one practice session has an 80% chance of rain, posing challenges for teams to find the perfect setup for wet conditions. But it doesn't end there. The rain is set to persist throughout Saturday's sprint weekend, with an 80% chance of rain and even the mention of thunderstorms. The sprint shootout and sprint race are likely to be damp affairs, adding drama and unpredictability to the mix. However, the sprint race format has faced criticism from some drivers, who fear unnecessary risks and damage to their cars. A rainy sprint race could see drivers taking a cautious approach, increasing the importance of the sprint shootout to determine the starting grid. As Sunday arrives, the rain risk decreases to 60%, offering hope for a drier race. Intermittent showers are expected, creating a challenging race for the drivers but perhaps less treacherous than continuous dime pours. The rainy weather not only presents challenges to the drivers, but also brings a risk of reduced visibility, particularly at the Spa-Francorchamps circuit. Known for its fast and undulating track, the rain-soaked surface can create a spray of water, impairing the driver's visibility and making the race even more dangerous. It's another sprint weekend, making it the third of the 2023 season. The action-packed weekend kicks off with qualifying on Friday afternoon at 5 p.m., where the drivers will battle it out for the best starting positions in the main event. But that's not all. Saturday brings even more thrills, with a sprint shootout at 11 a.m., followed by the sprint race at 4.30 p.m., setting the stage for an epic showdown on Sunday. The anticipation is building as the clock ticks down to the main event, the Belgian Grand Prix. On Sunday at 3 p.m., the world's finest drivers will unleash their skills and go wheel to wheel in a hard pounding battle for victory. All the times mentioned are in local time, so if you don't live in the same time zone, you will need to convert it to the time you area live. Alfa Romeo F1 team has revealed a striking new livery for this weekend's Belgian Grand Prix, showcasing their partnership with live streaming platform Kick. The 2023 C43 car, driven by Valtteri Bottas and Joe Guanyu, will don a vibrant look with eye-catching bright green Kick logos and decals adorning the front wing, rear wing, side pod and matching wheel rims. Kick, a rapidly growing live streaming platform, has amassed over 10 million users in just seven months. With a unique revenue sharing model, it aims to challenge established streaming giants. Among its high-profile signings is Canadian streamer XQC, who secured an exclusive deal worth up to $100 million and brought over 400,000 followers to the Cake platform. Alfa Romeo F1 team had a promising showing at the recent Hungarian Grand Prix, with Joe and Bottas qualifying 5th and 7th on the grid although a start issue denied Joe a chance to score points. The team remains determined and optimistic. Valtteri Bottas shared his thoughts on the team's performance, saying they unlocked something more from their package on Sunday. So definitely the potential was there, and they will aim to build on that.
Red Bull Racing's unprecedented 12 straight victories in Formula 1 have left fans and experts alike in awe of their incredible run of form. As history is made with each race, the question on everyone's mind is, how far can Red Bull extend this remarkable streak? For those who appreciate variety at the front of races, the dominance might be a bit boring. But there's no denying the immense impressiveness of what Red Bull has achieved. Especially with the unstoppable Max Verstappen leading the charge. Sergio Perez's impressive recovery drive in Hungary only strengthens Red Bull's confidence. The team believes their updated car will excel even more at the iconic Spa-Francorchamps circuit. However, the chasing pack adds a thrilling element to this season. With McLaren and Mercedes showing strong form, there are now four teams capable of podium finishes and maybe even pressure Red Bull when luck is on their side. McLaren, firmly in the mix, will expect to close the gap. And Mercedes demonstrated their threat when Lewis Hamilton secured pole position in Hungary. Though they faced a race pace deficit, they are eager to fight back. And there's a record-breaking opportunity for Max Verstappen. If he wins in Spa, he'll reach 8 consecutive race victories this season bringing him one step closer to Sebastian Vettel's record of 9 consecutive wins in a season. McLaren's recent step forward has injected new energy into the battle for the podium in Formula 1, with Lando Norris capitalizing on the team's pace with two consecutive second place finishes. However, it hasn't been smooth sailing for his teammate Oscar Piastri. At Silverstone, Piastri was on the track for his maiden podium until a safety car shuffled him down to fourth place. In Hungary, strategy and floor damage hampered his race, turning a promising second place stint into a fifth place finish. Despite the setbacks, Piastri has consistently showcased his potential in qualifying. Lining up alongside Norris since receiving the updated car, he's proving to be a strong contender to convert McLaren's newfound pace into a top 3 finish. Meanwhile, Williams is emerging as a threat for points, thanks in part to their effective update introduced in Canada. The team's aerodynamic efficiency allows them to run higher downforce levels without compromising on speed, a valuable advantage at Spa-Francorchamps demanding track. Much of the recent buzz has been about McLaren's impressive step forward in Formula 1. After the race in Budapest, both drivers acknowledged the emergence of new competitors, including Mercedes, Ferrari and Aston Martin. Earlier in the season, Alpine was a target of attention due to their strong start and promising pace. However, as the races progressed, the results didn't always match the performance on track and they seem to lack a bit of outright speed in recent rounds. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse at the last race when Zhou Guan Yu collided with Daniel Ricciardo, triggering a chain reaction that forced both Alpine drivers Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly into retirement through no fault of their own. Despite some flashes of extremely competitive pace, including Ocon's podium in Monaco, Alpine has faced challenges and inconsistencies in recent races. As the Formula 1 season approaches its summer break, Alpine's focus will be on executing a clean and error-free weekend at Spa-Francorchamps, with the goal of regaining their early season promise. The team aims to head into the break with renewed positivity. These were the six things you need to look out for at the Belgian Grand Prix. From the iconic corners to the unpredictable weather, Spa-Francorchamps never fails to deliver edge of your seat excitement. And we can't wait to witness the battles unfold on this legendary track. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Until next time.